Yeet. Keep. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a modern quick match. Nothing fancy here, just a quick refresh on the deck we're piloting and then getting into a match. Subscribing and liking are a great way to support the channel for free, so a big thanks in advance for that. Please comment below with any thoughts on the matchup. I love to hear other people's takes on sideboard strategies, lines of play, etc. They are always welcome. So, enjoy the match. Alright, so we're piloting Grixis Urza with a splash for green. But if you're new to the deck, the main engine is Thopter Foundry Sword of the Meek. With both in play, you pay one, sack the Sword of the Foundry, you gain a life, and get a Thopter. That Thopter then triggers a the sword, comes back attached. So, for every one mana you have, you get one life and one Thopter. A fine combo that's actually pretty difficult for a lot of decks to deal with as it is. But why this deck has jumped to tier 1 status is because of Modern Horizons. First, Urza makes this combo go infinite. Urza taps the sword for 1 mana to activate the Foundry, sacrifice the sword, Thopter made, sword comes back untapped. So that's 2 fresh artifacts to make 2 more mana. Repeat this and you'll have infinite life, Thopters, and mana. Then with the infinite mana, you can activate Urza's 5 ability until you play your whole deck. A lot of decks will play a win condition like Gear per Aether Grid, that way you don't have to pass the turn over while your Thopters are summoning sick. Oh and for fun! You also get a huge construct for free with Urza, you know, because he wasn't good enough already. Just a crazy good card. Um, so how do we get this combo consistently? First and foremost, we're churning through our deck with Cantrippy Artifacts. Mishra's Bobble is a delayed redraw that gives us some info. Arkham's Astrolabe both fixes our mana and redraws. Chromatic Star is a free roll, and then there's Acre Wellspring. We can also directly tutor with War of Invention and Goblin Engineer. Worrying at instant speed is amazing for finding either combo piece or as a toolbox tutor. Engineer can get a combo piece in the yard early, but where it really shines is in the late game um, for grinding matchups. Once you start sacrificing Icar Wellsprings for Astrolabes, and then next turn sacrifice the Astrolabe for a Wellspring, every turn that's just hard for a lot of decks to keep up with. For the toolbox side of things, an Insaring Bridge is really nice to have to stay alive for a few turns. Now, we're not really a prison deck, but this is a great card to have at our disposal if we need it. Worrying for a Pithing Needle is often just a counter spell with a Planeswalker or other target on the stack. Um, then there's Damping Sphere, Nighthill Spellbomb, Pirate Spellbomb, and Welding Jar. Other things that are really nice to have at our disposal if we have a Whir in hand. All these builds run 4 Mox Opals because it's one of the most powerful cards in Modern. And most are now running 2 Galvanic Blasts to round out the Metalcraft Suite. The land base doesn't actually vary all that much in terms of the lands themselves. We're looking at 8 Fetches, 3 Shocks, a lot of Snow Basics for the Astrolabes. And then Inventor's Fair and Spire of Industry are pretty common. Where people do have differences is actually in the count of the lands. I see a lot of decks running 18 or 19, which is very low. Because we cantrip so much, I do get it. And there are hands where that's enough and it feels really, really good. Um, but I feel like I lose a lot of games being stuck with an Urza or a Whir in hand and not hitting that fourth land drop. I really like 20. Okay, to the sideboard. We've got two Fatal Pushes for early aggro and other troublesome creatures like Collector Oofs and Katakis. Thought Seizes for other combo decks and for sniping hate cards. Assassin's Trophy for pretty much everything. Collector Brutality is a megastar against Burn and is extra discard for control matchups. Tireless Tracker is a new addition showing great results against opponents trying to get the game to go long and grindy. Tezzeret, another great win condition for when they disrupt our combo. Ashiok has really been overperforming. He shines in the mirror, cutting off Whirs, Engineers, and Fetches, while also nuking the yard a few times. It's fantastic against Scapeshift and Titan decks, and really does a number on other graveyard decks in the format also. Grafdigger's Cage, because Allosaurus combo and Dredge are still a thing. And just remember that Cage is kind of useless against Living End. Um, those creatures go to Exile first. And Dead of Winter is one of the best board wipes in the format in this deck. Now let's get to it. All right, hello everyone. We are back with some Grixis Wurza, Splashing Green. And this hand is pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to throw it back. Astrolabe and a two-drop combo piece is where we want to be. Nice, friendly opponent. It's always good to see in the chat. Start out with an Astrolabe. Urza. Okay, we are going to need to hit some land drops now. Next turn, we do get to get down a Foundry, hopefully. Notron, 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 Notron. Wooded Foothills. No turn one play off the Wooded Foothills. Interesting. Still not sure what this could be. So we are just going to... Uh, get in our breeding pool. We will throw out a Thopter Foundry. Sticks, and we'll pass the turn. Probably should have played out the bauble. Just a misclick on my part. See if we get punished for it. Oh, Sheltered Thicket. Okay, this is trouble. We need to win and win fast. Because this looks like Valakut. Sakura Tri Builder. Explore, even worse. Okay. So 
Snow-covered mountain. Alright, that was bad news. Alright, we don't get too punished here. So here's the good news. The good news is we get to whir for our sword at the end of turn. And then if we get a land off of the bobble, we just win. Oh, but yeah, we punted this one. Um, okay, so I think what we do is, because we need the astrolabe to tap for blue. So it's going to be blue, 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 and two. So we can't even crack the astrolabe. But that that is the game plan regardless. It's not like that would change. Or would it? Let's think. Damping Sphere down. Or no, I'm sorry. Wellspring down. Gets us a draw here. And then we can whir the following turn. I think that's where we want to be. Let's try that. All right, so we're going to go yeah, Wellspring down. Maybe we can hit a land here. Opal's okay because we can actually just sacrifice the Wellspring here. Yeah, let's do that. Sacrifice the Wellspring. Try to get a land. Astrolabe. Okay, so with Opal in hand, that means we can definitely do it all next turn. We just need to survive. Pass the turn. All right. Yep. Bolt to our face. How crazy can they go here? Stomping ground. Okay. Hit a land, please. No land. Okay, that does... I don't think it changes anything. Let's see. Um, so one, two, three, and then four with the last one. Yeah, well, we got to do it regardless. Let's, let's just make sure. Okay. Um... One, two, three, four. Urza down and a construct. Construct allows us to one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, undo. Blue. Play an opal. Keep the new opal. Blue, blue, blue. Urza. Get a construct. Blue. Blue, 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 blue. We're for two and win. Sword of the Meek. We will tap. Sacrifice Sword of the Meek. All right. That was impressive. Uh, and that's why the Opal is necessary. I know there are a lot of games where it feels dead um, and it's a terrible top deck, but man, that is why you want it. That is why you want it. Okay. So against the evilness that is Scape Shift, we want the Assassin's Trophies. Ashiok is very good. Um, we want the Brutalities and Thought Seizes. And we want to go down Damping Spheres. Um, I don't think we want to Dirtle. Icker Wellsprings down. Galvanic Blast down. Nihil Spellbomb does nothing. Pyrite Spellbomb does nothing. Needle does nothing. So maybe we keep one star and one Wellspring. Yep, let's try it like that. Okay, Ashiok's going to do some work here. Uh, one land is not great, though. Hmm. Can we keep a one lander? With a redraw off the star. Ugh. This is really not great. Um, well, I'm gonna keep it. It's probably a mistake, but we do have one redraw here. Opponent goes to six. Windswept Teeth. Cracks it. And if we get another zero drop, search for tomorrow suspended. Sure. We do get the zero drop. Okay, so. Uh, play a Delta, play an Opal, play a Bobble. Um, I kind of want to use this Bobble on ourselves because we really need to hit a, um, uh, but we need the Opal too. Okay, I think we just go get a Watery Grave, play our Chromatic Star, and pass. This way if we had a land next turn, um, we can Ashiok, and man, if we can Ashiok and get the search for tomorrow fizzling, that's going to be fantastic. Sakura Tribe Elder, sure. Come on, land to fizzle, land to fizzle. Oh, we're so good at this game. Okay, well, let's get our Ashiok down. This is going to be great against, all right, they correctly get a land off their Elder. All right, so this fizzles the search. Search in the name, and it is not going to do what it wants to do. Okay, that was a good hit for sure. Now we need to win still. That is the problem. We still need to win the game. Forest. Rex Sage. Okay. See what he chooses. Chromatic Star, please. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, well, we will then crack. See what they got going on next turn. Another Elder. Okay. Okay, we are going to need to hit something here. Bobble, 
astrolabe. Not entirely helpful. We really were hoping to... I kind of almost want to just trophy this Rex Sage. Nah, get some land. That's that's not good. We really need to hit it with this grid more than anything. All right, well, let's see if we can get a land off our redraw here. We do not. Well, let us get a redraw here. Redraw off the star, and then we can play the Astrolabe again here, or we can play a Sword of the Meek. Um, I still think we just want to keep drawing some cards. Yeah, draw some cards. Astrolabe, keep on drawing. Okay, Urza is great. Now we will cast the bobble and pass the turn. We know that they are drawing a Sakura Tribe Elder here. Rexage in an Ashiok. Can they bolt it? That's the question. Sakura Tribe Elder. Well, this isn't going to matter, but we will take a look at them because they're just going to... Okay, they got a mountain coming. Opal Island. Okay, that's very good because now we can get blockers in here for Ashiok. So, let us play an Opal. We go Urza, one, two, three, four. Or do we just Aether Grid, ping one? That doesn't seem good. Yeah, let's just get blockers out there. Blue, one, two, three, four. Urza down. So we can ping one. I think that's what we'll be doing. Because you have the bolt for Ashiok. No bolt for Ashiok is good. Mountain down. No attacks. So now we're looking for Thopter Foundry or Bust. Um, so let's do this. Let us go get a Snow Covered Swamp. Get a red one. Two. Aether Grid down. One, two. Force of Vigor. All right, that seems good. Well, we will kill the... One, two. Yep, seems good. And then we will... One, two... For a... Sword of the Meek onto Urza. And we'll pass the turn. This Ashiok is really holding down the fort nicely. Wooded Foothills is dead. Ashiok, man, this is a card in this matchup. Okay, we are going to start worrying for a ton. Because as soon as we hit a foundry, we're in business. Eh, we'll cast it. Get a welding jar. Um, Do we need to keep this trophy up for anything? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think we do. Um, So we will, one, two, get down another sword of the meek. Yeah, let's just, well, we can equip, I guess. One, two... Equipped Urza. All right, pass the turn. Welding Jar does make us feel a little good here. Mountain. All right, prime time down. That will start attacking. All right, no cards in hand, so I think we're safe to just kill this thing. Green, black. Ashiok is single-handedly winning this game. This is pretty amazing. Oh, okay, that's fair. <laughs> that was my ability. That makes sense. All right, well, let's spin Urza. Always got to be careful with Welding Jar, because if you click it too fast, it'll actually sacrifice it if it doesn't think that you are um, using Wurza for it. All right, we're just trying to hit the Opter Foundry here. Close this game out. Well, we whiff. We're not going to do anything cute, because we are trying to win this game really in only one way. Misty Rainforest. And there's the engineer. Okay, so we can go ahead and whir once first. One, two, three, four, five. Scalding Tarn. Crack it. One, two, three, four, five. Thoughtseize we will not cast. And then we'll play our Goblin Engineer. Getting a Thopter Foundry. And pass the turn. Not sure what they could draw here. Sakura Tribe Elder. All right. Well, we will end this quickly. Our opponent was a good sport here. We will make all the Thopters. That is how you do it. Ashiok All-Star. Mega All-Star in that game. Holy moly.